party people it's your boy Roddy Perry and you're tuned in to Roddy Perry live I couldn't be more excited about uh my guest for the day man been knowing this guy shoot now uh for quite some time man and uh I remember uh first uh coming in contact how about this sometimes great actors make really great directors and He's gotten things out of myself, uh, Tony Rock, that we didn't know we had in us. I've watched him work with actors, and he's absolutely the director I want to be one day. Ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, welcome to the show, Kenny Young. What's up, Kenny? Oh, RP, my brother. Thank you for having me today. Hey, man, thank you for, for having me on your, oh, on your set, <laughs> on your sets, man. Uh, let's go way back. Uh, Red Rum. Wow. Um, that was a minute ago. That was a minute ago. Tell me this, Kenny Young. You're a director, but you're a real deal actor, though, dude. Like, you, you, you're not a game when it comes to being a, a really good actor. Um, what made you want to put on that director's hat in the first place? That's a great question, brother. Um, honestly, I think it's all storytelling. I think acting, writing, directing is all storytelling. And sometimes it's almost a natural progression when you're a storyteller. You'll find many actors start writing their own scripts. They want to direct a piece or a director might write a piece. I think it's all storytelling. So for me, it was like a natural progression. It started with acting and it gravitated to writing and it gravitated to uh, directing from there. For me. What do you know now, or what would you tell the young Kenny Young about the game that you know now? Wow. Um, know who you are. Know your worth. Mm. Uh, set your parameters for yourself. And remember that success is the journey, not the destination. You, you know, I asked that question of some friends recently. I said, is success is a journey of cop out and it's it's not it really is after you look at your body of work and you go wow because you kind of can never arrive would you agree i totally agree brother i totally agree yeah. um it, it, that's true man it's like who you become on the way um there's a guy named he's long since passed a guy named earl nightingale and his his definition of success is one i've uh, held on for myself Success is the progressive realization of a worthy goal or ideal. The progressive realization. So if you're working on something, even if the movement is slow, but if you're working on it, you have a goal you set your mind on and you're working toward it actively, you're already a success. I mean, wow. people will tell you once you reach that so-called success, what you value most is the climb up. You look back like, wow, those were the good old days. So that's the real success, man. The person you become on the way, the things you learn, the growth, that's success. Uh, you're in a perpetual state of creativity. Uh, oh, yes. what, whether whether it's TV, film, comedy, drama. Uh, it, Kenny Young, first of all, let's talk about Cold and Windy, man. Oh, my man. All right. I got to be honest, man. When we're in it and we're shooting it, I I didn't have a grasp of the entirety of the project. Wow. Because I was just in my scenes. And so now that I'm watching it, I'm like, yo, mm. how do you, first of all, put that, all those ideas, all these different characters, you know, the 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 white producer, the two girls. I mean, do do you did you know the, the drill world? To, to be to get to be able to capture that 
Another great question, brother. Um, initially, I wasn't familiar with drill at all. Um, I was hired to do a documentary called They Don't Give a Damn about the tearing down of the housing projects in Chicago. Okay. And this was maybe eight, a little over eight years ago. And um, while I was doing that, I, there were a lot of kids that we would go to these neighborhoods to be a lot of kids. And they always refused to go on camera, but they would talk to us. Okay. And they like, and when I would ask them, like, and that's when the crime in Chicago was really kind of taking off. Yes, and I would ask them, like, what do you think is like uh, the origin? Like, what's causing so much of this crime? And they're like, man, it's the music. It's the drill music. And I had never heard of drill. So I started researching it. And I, as I started to research it, I said, wow, I think there's a, a story here. One, there's a culture that a lot of people aren't hip to. But yes. two, there's a story. And being from Chicago, I would love to tell a story that helps try to deal with some of those issues they're dealing yes. with. Humanize yeah. those kids doing drill or doing these shootings. Humanize them when we see where they're coming from. So that really was the genesis of the whole idea. Wow, man, you, you've done it in such a great way, man, to, to watch this show and to watch these two young ladies navigate this. Was was were the, were the young ladies always young ladies? No, yeah. no, sir. So, no, so, sir. So the, and they can rap. Yes, they can. These little girls be up in there flowing. I'm like, Baby, okay. man, they in there killing it, yo, and I... Wow. And they, they had not rapped before. They weren't rappers. Wow. They were actresses. Okay. So I got to give it up to Dree Dree, who writes our rhymes, and get up to Strings, who is like their rap coach. Okay. She really kind of, but they went in 100%, man. They're in there killing it as far as the music. Um, but yes, there, it was initially two guys, and we were shopping it for a while, and it just, it felt like the same old thing. We see so many stories about hip hop, the street thing from the, the, the man's Male perspective. perspective. Yeah. And, um, and it's a lot of girls out there getting it. Yeah, a lot of girls out there in that life, man. And we just thought that'd be a great perspective to see. You know, a great perspective to see it from a woman's perspective. And that really just changed the whole the whole essence of the show, man. It, okay. it, it totally did. I think in a very positive way. Or a very I, absolutely, because not only do you get the women in their journey, you get they hustle, they grind, you get, you know, motherhood. You know, you, you cover so many valid points in this piece, man. And it's it's just really impressive. I'm glad to be a part of it. And, oh, uh, an honor. Really. You know, Rod, you always shouting my praise. This dude is one of my absolute favorites, and I'm not kidding. That's why I'm always reaching for him for films. He's his awesome work ethic. I think he's a comic genius. He's a good brother at heart. He cares about his people and he cares about his craft. And if you want to see a great dramatic performance, check out Rodney Perry in the last lap or change to come on, man. Check out that great and, performance. And, and you know what? You you had some moments that I mean you gave me some tools I still use, you know. Great. Um, we had a moment, uh, the last laugh, uh, Rodney Perry, Tony Rock. We weren't friends. Wow, and you all's chemistry was amazing. I thought you guys already knew each other, dude. Me and Tony have had talks since then, and I told him, I said, nigga, I thought you didn't like me. <laughs> he, said, no, nigga. he said, you know, because Tony is just not a forthcoming guy. Oh, uh, yeah, you know. And he's like, no, Rodney, it's not that I didn't like you. It's just like, man, we just we hadn't been around each other. And and um, Tony had some real things that he had been through. I had some real things. And one of the techniques, if any actors on here, uh, um, Kenny Young said, look, you're not an actor. Be be that guy. And we went through exercises being I exercise with my wife in the movie with T. Mm -hmm. Being who, being the character, mm -hmm. you know, and like as I as I help work with my improv workshop, that's one of the things that I always kind of get them to do is is don't act. Let me see you be that person. You know yeah. him, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Man, yeah. acting is living realistically in an imaginary situation. Wow. So it might be an imaginary situation, but you're living realistically. You're really responding. You're feeling those emotions. You're projecting. Everything is real. The imagination is, I mean, the, the uh, situation is imaginary, but the feelings and the thoughts and the motivations have to be real. Victor Marshall is in the building. Good morning, Rodney. My frat, Kenny Young from Chicago. Yo, yo, come up side. Love the camaraderie. Yo. Hey, and, hey, hey, Rodney, can I please mention uh, my partner, my longtime partner, my brother, Phil James, 
yes. was one of the co-creators of the show. My other brother, Vernon, Vern Extreme Brown, Vernon Extreme Brown was other creator of the show. We had some awesome writers, Javon Graves, Kim Allen, uh, Vic Lee, Emmanuel Rump, Brandon James, our directors, Jay Janice Dixon, and Sean Olson, and our amazing producer, Lisa, Lisa. Washington. So Lisa I, I, can't, I did not Washington. do this by myself. Yeah, man, you know, so take me to this point, though, Kenny. You're in a room by yourself. Are you typing away, or do you have a writer's assistant? What's the process? Oh, man, no assistant. Um, You mean as far as, like, creating creating a script or creating a like story? Actually, no, like, the very first words come out of your head. Woo. Very first words I do, I go and I get me a three-ring binder. I fill it mm. up with blank paper, and I spend about a week or two just writing ideas, writing dialogue that I hear, writing character names, writing story plots, just writing, writing, writing. And then I'll take that and I'll transfer that into an outline, just a beat sheet outline. This happens, this happens, this happens. Then I'll take that beat sheet outline and then I'll adapt that into a treatment, which is a much more detailed beat points. Mm -hmm, and then from that, I'm off to the script. So it's really preparation because pre-production for writing for me is everything. Then after okay. that, it's being patient and humble enough to continue to rewrite it after. Because the first wow. draft is just getting an idea on paper. Then yeah. you have to hone it and let it come to life. And you, you once told me, you said, Rodney, movies and TV are all about good things. Mm -hmm. Themes, universal messages. When you walk away from something, you want to you want to be able to take something from it. And yeah. the theme can be anything because what you take away from it depends on what you bring to it. Like, Rodney, you and I could watch the same movie and get two different messages from it. And that's based off our life experiences and our perspective on life. And gotcha. you're right in your world and I'm right in mine. That's the beauty of themes. And any good story or any good message, there are always several or more than several themes hidden inside for you to take away. I heard somebody critique a, pro a thing I watched recently and they said it looked like television. Is there a distinct difference between a TV look visually and a film look? Much so less than both. Yeah, much much less than it used to be because you'll see TV is really competing with theater right now. Shit, TV's beating theater in a lot of ways, like the, you know the movies. So I think that television has adapted as far as the subject matter, as far as the look, as far as how you shoot it. I think it's it's changed a lot. There is a slight difference, but I don't think it's it's as noticeable on a lot of these shows. A lot of these shows look like cinematic movies. Wow. Um. Black people are in the game, Kenny Young. Woo! Uh, yeah. it, it, it was it was years ago that we just weren't in the game at all. You brother. know, you remember those uh, days? Yeah, we you, were told totally it was out. so expensive. It was so expensive to shoot a project. Now with digital filmmaking, digital television, it it, it, it creates an avenue where we can literally be in the game, produce, direct, shoot our own stuff, and get it and stream it or or Man. put it on television. Like, talk to me about how, what you've seen change over the last decade. Wow, man, decades. I, I think of when I started with my brother, Carl Seaton, who you grew up with. You've known Carl a long time. Carl yes. Carl, and Carl is doing his stuff fizzle. Oh, Carl's killing it. Carl is killing it. You know, I trained him well. That's all I can say. I taught him well. Everything he knows, he learned from me. But no, when we started, it was, uh, we shot our first film one week on 35 millimeter. It took us years to finish it. But around that time, and this was in the late 90s, around that time, if you got a film. And, and let me stop you on that. One week, critically acclaimed, oh, great movie. Sure. And it, it was one week. If you haven't seen it, guys, do yourself a favor. Go find. Where can, where can people find one week right now? Man, you know, we had it. Uh, it was with a distributor for a while. We recently got it back. So we're going to be releasing it soon. So I'll definitely give you all that information. But it's a, um, a great, you can a still great find movie. it on Amazon and things like that. You can still find it there. But we're yeah. going to re release it ourselves. Good, good stuff. So one week, one week takes the world by storm. Man, it takes for, the world for, by storm. But, you know, you as an actor and as, as a producer and director. Right. I, I Carl directed it, Phil produced it, and Carl and I wrote it together and I starred in it. So it was, yes. it was a complete team effort. Um, but when that started, I mean, when we did that film back in those days, if you could get a film done, somebody was going to buy it. But now the dynamic has changed. Getting the film done is no longer the hard part. That used to be the hard part. Now the yeah. easy part is getting the film done. Now getting it to the masses, getting it to the audience, finding its audience, getting yeah. it sold, making money from it. 
That's the hard part now. That's the hard part. That's the hard part because it's one is so much easier to make to make films. You can shoot a, a movie on your phone. I mean, you really can. Easily. You can shoot a movie on your phone, edit it yourself. So, okay, once I'm done with that, how do I get it out? With there being so much, so many distractions, so many options, so many places. Now, on one side, there are many more places to take your film than used to be, but it's so much more competition. That's why I encourage everyone: work on your craft. The cream will always rise. Where it's always going to be a lot of competition, but who is really working their craft? Who's working it to make it the best they can? Those are the people that are shine. Wow. Hey, my name is Roddy Perry. You're tuned in to Roddy Perry Live. We're talking to director, actor, Ooh. producer, Mr. Kenny Young. Uh, wow. Uh, Kenny, let's do this. I'm going to take a break. We come back. We're going to play a game I call This or That. Uh -oh. The film edition. Uh-oh. Shy Town edition. Woo, Shy Town. Southside. Wow, honey. You already know. Hey, y'all, gonna take a break. <laughs> we come back more with Kenny Young. What up, y'all? It's Michael Sean. And I know you want to be a podcaster. You want a successful podcast. You want to give your views and opinions, but you just don't know how to do it correctly. That's why you got to hit up ShawneeScott.com. You want to be on radio, and you want to know how to build your radio career. ShawneeScott.com. She's done all of this. I've worked alongside her for years, and I will tell you the information that she can give you is, is on a value level that I can't even put a price on. All you have to do is go to ShawneeScott.com. Your future, right now. That's it. Michael Sean. Yeah. What's up, party people? We're back in full effect. My friend, great Kenny Young is in the building. So, One so love. Kenny, Kenny and I don't talk every day. But we cannot talk for a hundred years, and we gonna pick up the phone the same pick way. Up, like we pick Rodney, up the, yes, motherfucking Perry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't know if we could curse. Rodney, Kenny. motherfucking Perry. Hell yeah, Kenny, motherfucking young. <laughs> Always a pleasure, sir. Always. Uh, the name of the game is this or that. Just gonna throw you some stuff out there, you know, and you and you pick whichever one you want. If you feel like explaining, you explain. If not, you don't have to explain it. Okay. All right. Uh. Harold's Chicken or Uncle Remus? Oh, Harold's Chicken. Harold's Chicken, that's a cultural thing. Uncle Remus, for those who don't know, Harold's Chicken is the South Side. Uncle Remus is the West Side. I'm a South Side boy, so I got to roll with the culture. Harold's Chicken. All right, all right. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, You just answered this, but South Side or West Side? Oh, South Side. I mean, love for all my people, but South Side. South Side, the best side. Southside, you know, that's why that's we grew up. That's we grew um, up. Here goes. GD or all is well. Woo! Woo! Give me shot. Uh man, GD, <laughs> man. I grew up around those GDs. My brother was a GD. Hey, I gotta roll with hey, GDs. You might be like me. Like you can be GD by default, like of your neighborhood. I was. Yeah. Where you live dictates who you who you affiliate with. That is so and, true. And even if you're not a gangbanger. You like low key, you whoever. Like, told you had a little bit like those. Not, not no fool. Even when I lose, <laughs> <little stuff, like, laughs> hey, when I when I get the city, though, I'm just have my shit sitting over there. Yeah, no, nah, I see you. <laughs> hey, did you have a guy in your neighborhood growing up that gave everybody their nickname? Yes. What was his name? Uh, we had a couple. We had Vince. We had Mark. We had B. We had a couple guys. We had some. Man, I grew up with some funny guys, man. It's a really cool. Dude, guy. Okay, we had a dude named Zach. Zach. If Zach called you something that wasn't your name, that was your name forever. <laughs> what he call you? I was Shorty. What's up, Shorty? He called me Shorty. Yeah, right. Nigga, I was literally Shorty. For the next wow, Two for years. years. Oh god, I was shorty. How's Zach, how Zach doing today, man? Is Zach still around? I don't know, man. You know, I ain't, I ain't been in that neighborhood yeah. in years. You mm. do. I remember, like, I lived on 126th State Street. Okay, and I remember that street being so big, me, I was scared to cross it. Yeah, State and Street was a, was I, a beast. I go back over there now, and it's a little bitty street. <laughs> Yeah. Or like Stony Island. I used to be terrified of Stony Island. Stony Island? I'm still scared of Stony Island. Yeah, Stony Island's still a little scary. But yeah, State Street yeah, is really just a couple couple. Lanes. All right, this or that. Okay. Bow leg or pigeon toe? Bow leg. 
You talking about my women? If I like my one, I might like my whatever wife. you want to, however you want to, you know, whoever. All right, bow legged, bow legged. All right, um, here we go. Body wash or bar of soap? Body wash. Secondary question, same same topic. <laughs> wash rag or loofah? Wash rag. I'm a wash rag, rag nigga myself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kenny Young, straight out of Chicago, South Side. Woo! Ass or titties? Love them both. Uh, ass. Because the titties she big and it's no ass. It's just unless she gonna fall over. But the big no, ass. It is, kinda, it's like, the balance is always. Yeah, yeah, you can't go wrong. You know what I mean? Here's a good one. Uh, oh. Manifestation. Or God did? Manifestation. So I wow. believe God is within it's us. Expand, expand, expand on that, yeah. I think God is within us manifesting. I think um, in some ways we've deceived, been deceived. We take God out of here and put it out here where it's unknowable. And really the God force is within us. So that's, we are the God force. So that's the, man. I think it's the manifestation. And, and in that manifestation, you're still giving glory to God. Well, how about that? Um, here it goes. My prerogative of poison. Poison. Ain't nothing like a big button to smile. Man, nothing like and that. Doom, 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 doom. That still get me going when you hear it, man. That's, that's timeless. All right. Here goes. Two more. Okay. Die tragically or die in my sleep? Die in my sleep? Who would pick to die tragically? Hey, you want to make the newspaper? I want to go out. <laughs> young, I want to go out like a G. Like man, that nigga got, that nigga got yeah. drunk by a train for ten miles. Oh God! Now if I went out tragically and heroically, baby, but just tragically, oh God, that's a good, that's that's a good one. That's a good caveat. Heroically is dope. So me and my wife been watching my six hundred pound life. Wow. Fat or skinny? Skinny. I mean, for myself or for however you answer. However, I would say skinny, but in between is always the best. But if I gotta pick, skinny. There's a lot of health you know problems that come with the fat. Skinny people. That's the first indicator your ass is sick. Nigga, get skinny. That's true. That's true. You could be <laughs> on some crack or some HIV. It could be something. But then, if I think of a skinny woman in a couple years, she's gonna feel out right. You know what I'm saying? And especially when they're younger, right? They when they're young, younger, younger. Then, uh, but if they're big, it, uh, unless you like that, you know. You just last, like last one, Kenny Young, okay. uh, fame director. Here we go. Cross-eyed or walk with a limp. Walk with a limp. <laughs> really? <laughs> the limp could look cool. It look like you pivot down the street. But you can the always put the glasses on cross eyed. You can huh? always. <laughs> <laughs> you can. But I'm telling you, the walk with the lip, you can make it look cool. But the cross side, once you take the glasses off, is is. I don't know, cool. man. If, if your lip is bad, though, like, okay, I'm going to tell you what. I you believe. I believe that women. I believe that women disqualify you if you look like you're not a good suitor. And a, a limp will make your ass look like, I don't want my well, baby to be Depending on the kind of limp we're talking about. If it's the, the heavy man <laughs> limp, yeah. But if it's just a, a slight, one leg slightly shorter than the other, when you that, get that little dip, little. Walk, that'd be cool. <laughs> Kenny Young, man. Thank you, thank right. you, thank you for coming on, bro. Man, um, thank you, brother. The show hey, is man. out now Thursday nights. Thursday nights on Cold and Wendy. Streaming on All Black on Mondays, cold and windy. Please support. We love y'all. We appreciate y'all. Dude, I go on All Black, and it takes me to Apple TV. I'm like, because uh, I already yeah. got Apple TV. So Apple TV is streaming. It's it's like a weird little wow. rotation. Yeah, some of that streaming stuff confuses me too, brother. I got to be honest with you. But uh, wherever you can watch it, it's appreciated. Hey, man, I, I'm definitely a friend and a fan. How about this? Now, I don't know if you know the answer to this. I did a movie two years ago called Coming to America. Wow. The movie never went theatrical because we was in the pandemic. Mm -hmm. They sold the movie to Amazon for this ungodly amount. 
right? We got one res one residual check. That's it. Kenny Young. They said because of the way they sold it, streaming is still new to a lot of people. That ain't no more money. Whoa. Amazon That's said. Cool. Amazon yeah. said we bought it. Period. Lock, stock, and barrel. Oh, uh, they were like, we just bought it out and we stream it as we want. It's not like as we see fit. We're not sending the TV. We're not sending it nowhere else. It's ours. Wow. Dude, we haven't got one more residual check in two and a half years. Oh my god. Yeah, man. What? I don't know. Are we going to figure out streaming? I guess it is a question. You said, are we going to figure it out? Yeah. I think the powers that be have it figured out. I think the the consumer and the people selling their films haven't got it totally so totally figured out yet. Got it. I think we need to you know figure things out for ourselves and give ourselves alternatives. You wow. Because this is the era where you can get it, man. If you're hustle, if you got creativity and you've got hustle and faith in yourself, man, you can go very far, brother. With just your computer, you can go very far. Hey, that's all you need. Hey, man, thank you so much again. Kenny Young, uh, directly. Hey, I love you. I'm proud of you, brother. Keep shining and inspiring, brother. You are a true inspiration to myself and so many others. Hey, One man, love, love man, respect. Kenny Young in the building. Thank you for thank you. tuning in. We're going to take a break. We come back. This young lady. Oh, God. Randy Scott joins us. I don't know what's going to happen. Goodness gracious. We'll be right back. What up, y'all? It's Michael Sean. And I know you want to be a podcaster. You want a successful podcast. You want to give your views and opinions, but you just don't know how to do it correctly. That's why you got to hit up ShawneeScott.com. You want to be on radio, and you want to know how to build your radio career. ShawneeScott.com. She's done all of this. I've worked alongside her for years, and I will tell you the information that she can give you is, is on a value level that I can't even put a price on it. All you have to do is go to ShawneeScott.com. Your future, right now. That's it. It's Michael Sean. Yay. Multiple studies have shown that marijuana can slow both driver reaction and response time, which can be really dangerous. It's here. It's here. Wait, wait, wait. What? I can't drive. What? What? My. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of driving high, my co-host for the day, she show up when she get ready. Okay. We talked. We talked on the phone today. She said, well, what time you want me to 10 o'clock exactly? And guess what? She she popped a little half cute little face and and this little this, I don't know what she's doing. She got a blonde wig. Right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show, Miss Randy Scott. Hello, What's Randy. up? You just you just said my real name. I oh god. What's your real name? No, you just said it. You, I don't and it says my name. Listen, I don't know if you know, but they've been issuing out warrants for the self checkout. I can't be you I can't be my all, normal self all, right now. You, you said it last time you were on the show. You was like you steal from all from the self checkout all the time. You told me that. Who and I was that? worried. Who said that? You did. Do you know who I am? What 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 oh, so you in disguise right now? I'm in an undisclosed location. I'm in a tunnel. I'm out the country. Like, what are you talking about? That's why the time was wait, wait, wait. What type I of stuff? You know what they do? Late. You know what they do? They let the money build up till it's a felony. No, no, no. We're not doing no felonies this year. Not this year. How well, how much have you stolen? They start off if you got a TV. They said, go on, go on out the door with your TV. But they motherfucking adding your shit up. You think, that, you think that's how they doing it? I'm telling you, that's I read this. It's a news story. I read it. So they just keeping a tally. A long ass list. And they gonna be like, oh Miss, my God. You're like, Miss Sky, is this you? But I feel like I got a long time before I hit that cap, Dan, because what I do is sometimes, like, if I get three packs of McCormick's brown gravy, I just put them together. And scan them, scan that one. So I'm only getting away with like three dollars worth of merch at a time. So I got a lot. What's the cap? Whatever felony is, I think it's like nine thousand dollars. I don't know. You got 
You got oh man, then I got, got a, a lot of gravy to get. You got you a lot of gravy. Damn wig off. But that I damn long wig but on what me. about that TV you got? Now I ain't never got no TV. Now I had a homeboy get me a sound system with a Bojangles receipt. This is all you need is a receipt to get out the door. A win is Talk a win. Says a win is a win. A win is a win. Candy Kids TV said, Hey Randy. I'm not Randy. Huck. People know you. You're famous. Dude, my name is. Ladies and gentlemen, she's hot off uh, what Kev on stage, uh, Keep Your Distance Comedy Show, which is now being broadcast on the Caffeine Network. It come out today, 6 o'clock. Make sure you check it out. 6, 6 p.m. Eastern time. Hey, hey, how about this, Randy Scott? And I don't, I don't like saying this about you because you, you get the big head. Okay. But you've been fucking destroying around these streets. These comedy streets. I got a chance to watch you personally myself. We was at the humidor. And I was like, this little silly lady is funny. <laughs> yeah, man. That's what they tell me. I'm just trying to be like Rodney Perry, man. I'm trying to get out there. I'm trying to be first famous. All, I'm trying all. to be, I just want to wear one of them hats. If I get whenever I get me oh, a cigar oh, bar hat, that's when I know. Oh, oh, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Hold up. Yeah, hold up. Hold, oh, hold up. Oh God. Oh, not, not the not the wig switch. Hold up. We can be somebody different. We can, we can, we can do that. You don't have to try to stun on me. We, can, oh my God, this is giving Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, Friday, you, Saturday. No, 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 no. Okay. You got to spray no. that with something. You got to spray it. It can, you just can't pull it out. No, <laughs> no, you can't mash it down. It, okay, you got something else. Okay. Go ahead. How does she talk? How does this lady talk? I want to hear her. Who? This lady. Whoever will wear this wig. How does she sound? This lady right here. Yes. This, this, I, I am a lady of God, honey. Yes. Come on, won't First lady. First lady. Okay. You look like a, you look like a wife now. Now that, now, now that I'm in. <laughs> this all I got to do to find a man is wear this wig. Hey, throw it out there. Dude, I got so many hot topics. So much to do. You changing wigs. Um, wow. Uh, Patty LaBelle. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm listening. What is, is that? What are you, a swashbuckler? You look yes. like. <laughs> yes, my lord. It has a. <laughs> ah, yes. 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 The same Bye, Randy yeah. Sky. Hello. How are thou? All you need is one of them ad patches. I have an eye patch. Just, just stick right. to the show. Don't, Don't worry me. about the disguise. Patty, I'm not going Patty to LaBelle deal. is 78 years old. And she's ready to start dating. She's trying to give up them patty pads. What's your thoughts? It ain't going to work, man. It's hard out here. I'm 41 and can't date. 41. That's not true. I, you, I, you, I, went out, you went out with a dude last week. Who? Somebody. Mm -mm, that, my son. We go on mother and son dates every week out to eat, whereas I'm paying for everything, and he just look at his phone. So well, well, really well, let's no talk about right. that. Maybe you should be paying for regular dudes every week. You could be going out all the time. No, no. So you say, see, that's the problem with the men now. Y'all want to be courted. Y'all want to be the woman. First of all, first I'm of all, of can, you, can you stop scratching your, your stuff on, on my on my shelf? Because I just saw you do this. Okay? No, no, no. no well, that's what we're not going to do. This is a family show. <laughs> but no, I'm for real. Like, the men want to be courted. Like the men want, you know what I'm saying? They want you to date. Well, you, well, why you ain't buying me nothing? Why you ain't offer to take me on no date? Man, y'all got it. Do they shake up. their neck like that? They shake their neck like that? Man, I'm telling you, bro. Like it's it's hard, it's hard out here. So Patty trying to find a 70 year old. 70? Wow, God would never say they'd rather just hang out with their son too. Shit. Yeah, I mean, uh, compared to dating, man, dating is horrible. Uh, Hopkins just got married. He got a, he got a beautiful woman. He just got married. It, it can happen for you, Randy Scott. He, he just got married. He he's a black man, right? He just got married. Yeah. So that means he dated her for ten years before he got married. I'm sure. Literally, that's the sad part. Yeah. That's how that's how y'all. You're not really. That's how y'all roll. Hold on, Randy. You're not willing to invest the time. What? You're not willing to invest a decade into a man that was going nowhere? Man, I did that. 
and we and we broke up last year, and I feel like I wasted a decade of my, of my time. What do you, you know? know 30, what I mean? like, 30, you should 30. not have to date somebody for 10, 15 years before a man finally want to settle down with you. You should not have to do that, bro. Wow, wow, wow. white woman, white woman be that date a man, date a dude, and I seen this firsthand, date a dude for six months, almost a year, if that, and he didn't propose. Wow. They taking pictures in the forest with the balloons. She said yes. But she not pushing back either when it comes to doing her, her wifely duties. What do you mean? What do you mean by that? What do you think all black women... Look at we, look at that, I'm, I'm talking about See, that face. Y'all give us a bad rap, bro. Y'all give us a bad rap. What, like, why do you think that... Uh, are you willing to do your wifely duty? Wifely duty? Ha, are What's you willing to... Duty? Randy, are you willing to do... Look, are you willing to do your wifely duty? Yes. I'm a good woman. I am. What's your what's your and best? And I got a mean guac guac like me. What's guac guac? What that mean? Man, you know what it means. Guac guac. Speaking guac, of guac three thousand, that guac three thousand. Speaking of guac guac, we're going with an early version of, of the morning quickie. I don't know if you know this, Randy, but it's Thursday. Sherelle E. Right. Thomas, our resident. Sex therapist is in the building. Uh, 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 Shirley Thomas. Uh, yes, I need some sex therapy. Yes, I got it. Randy Scott. I'm trying to help Randy. I told her that she got to do her wifely duties. She said she do the guac guac. What the hell is the guac guac? Guac guac three thousand. <laughs> three thousand. Four thousand, baby. Let's go. <laughs> I don't. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. It's she looks like she got no protein in her diet. Oh, first of all, can you stop doing the hand gestures? I was just making sure you knew what it was. <laughs> I didn't do how. How would a guy do the same thing? Like no, <laughs> this. Yeah. <laughs> you guys. You know lesbians. what they do, right? You guys are lesbians, and I'm. I just want to say. It. <laughs> you are funny. Can you All guys right. hear me okay? Because I can't. You sound like you're in the bathroom. So I need to go inside. She sounds like she on vacation. It looks nice with she. Oh, is. she is on vacation. Oh, wow. Must be nice. But I came outside so my kids wouldn't hear me have an explicit conversation. But I can go in inside the bedroom. I'm just going to have to hold the device. All right. I'm going to put you off till you get to the bedroom. All right. You wanted her to go in the bedroom. Big kinky guy. Yeah. First Rodney of all, Perry. first of all, I'm not kinky at all. Man, you married, aren't you? People who've been married and older people are the nastiest. What are you talking about? Well, Y'all got first, first of all, bro. I'm I'm 26 years married, and don't don't get me wrong, I he do some eat. stuff that's questionable. Yeah, he eat, but <laughs> can we say that on this? You already no. said it. You already said it. I know. Are they going to edit it out? Who was they? Your production team, man. Why? Why? First of all, why you, every time you come on, you want to bring up ass eating? I mean, we, you said it's kinky. You said it's this Thursday. What? What they got to do with it? It's not. It's not. But but Thursday. Do I need a new wig for this conversation? I'm mad no. that you got to get them off the floor. I put. A, I got a wig bag down there. Do mm -hmm. you? Yeah. Randy, I'm gonna tell y'all what. Nobody makes me laugh like Randy's guy. <laughs> y'all, you and that one act drama tickle me all to be damn. All right. Where she at? She in the bedroom now. She in the bed. She close. Uh Flow Rider. Flow Rider got a settlement of 80, 80 something million, 82 million. From a company called Celsius Fitness Drinks. I don't know what they did to piss him off, but he got 82 million. He said he's gonna give most of it, most of it to charity. How dope is that for Flo Rider to take his shirt off, wave it around your head like a helicopter? Who is Flo Rider? Are you serious? Florida? That's a, who is Flo Rider? He's a rapper from Florida, Flo Rider. Oh, big dude, big dude. He's a he's little husky. Rapping. He just, first of all, he, he went through, he's got a dog on. Uh, let me find it. Here go. Here's the energy drink. I ain't never Celsius. seen it. I know what that is. I drink Celsius. What 
What's wrong with it? Is it something bad? I don't know, but he got an $82 million settlement. Well, way to make some money when you washed, because ain't nobody heard of no Flo Rida music lately. Is it, no, for, are you serious? Who's listening to Flo Rida? Are you serious? Like, let's first talk about- First of all, Flo Rida right was a big deal. Was, that's what I said. So way to make some money now that you're not no famous rapper no more. You're a hater, you're a hater. How am I a hater? I'm just telling you're you. You're a hater. Hater. You a hater. So you think Florida is a relevant rapper right now? He got 82 million. He do. Like I said, way to make some no, money when I, you're I'm not, not making I'm not gonna it argue off with what you. you known for. I'm not going to argue with you, Randy Sky. I'm just saying. What, what, like, I'm just saying, what do you think? We need some young people in here to tell the truth because- First of all, you ain't young. You ain't rapper. young, Randy Sky. You're not young. But I'm in old. the know. I'm in the know. I'm not riding around listening to you know what? Riders. I don't like this version of you. Like, I like you better when you high. You seem sober. I am high. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> Ladies you know and what? gentlemen. I'm going to get the energy right. I got the payload. Whoa, Santos. whoa, whoa. I got, is, that, is that the, uh, the stuff? Yes, this is to get the bad spirits out the room. No That's bad your room. My room no is bad still bad energy. All right. While 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 Randy's got sages her room, Shirley Thomas, you in the building? I'm here. Yeah. She in the bed now. Better. Can y'all like, hear me? Is that better? That sounds much better. Uh, Hollywood Hopgood said, "Please let me be a part of this conversation." You you are here, Mr. Hey, Hopgood. my boy in the building. <laughs> All right, yes. Shirley. Uh, the morning quickie, and and Shirley, you might want to stay after the the top of the hour because guess what? What? I got I got this young lady come on with sex toys. Oh, I don't like sex toys. Do, well, do we get, get samples? You, you can't look to yourself. Look, at <laughs> I mean, look I'm pointing to you like giving your us samples? <laughs> Will she supply samples of the toys? I broke my rose. I just want to know. Black folks no, want it. to sample something. It, I think the motor went out. The motor went out. I had a nice <laughs> evening plan. You how many? How many? Work. How many? How many times you had to use it to break? She had to use it a I, lot. You think I'm counting? A lot. <laughs> Thousand. I tried to charge it. It just didn't do nothing, man. I had a nice evening plan. Towel was down. The everything was ready, and it did not the work. Towel was the down. Towel was down. <laughs> <laughs> it's a family show. I'm trying to talk in code. <laughs> All right, Shirelli Thomas, what are we talking about today on the morning quickie? Today we're talking about all about transgenders. Oh, <laughs> I knew Hollywood hot put his head down. What you wanted you to join the conversation? Us? You don't want to talk about that? I saw your facial expression. No, no, no. I mean, no, you let's know talk what? about. Let's talk about. All you right. know what it is. Uh, uh, HIV and AIDS day uh, was the seventh of of this month. So I mean that don't have nothing to do with trans. It's, speaking of trans, uh, tr she's transitioning right now. <laughs> <laughs> she got that share on this morning. <laughs> this was appropriate for the conversation. Let's do it. I love it. All right. So so like um, are we being more tolerant of our transgender brothers and sisters? It depends on who we are. I don't think in terms of a black community, there is an openness to it. No, so I mean, it, it really depends on who we are. I did a post not too long ago and I mentioned about, you know, like say you're in a relationship with someone for six months. They started identifying as the, as the opposite sex at a young age. So that's their lifestyle. That's how they live. So say they're living as a... Let's just say, I'm, I'm okay, let's just say a woman. Born a man and, and living as a woman. Yeah. So guy dated them for six months, vibing and everything. And then they come out and share like, hey, you know. Six months is too long. Six months is too, you can't be walking around with me at the damn movies and at the go-kart track and your ass, is, and you winning. And I'm wondering why you winning. That's because you a guy. See, no. <laughs> he said the go kart track. <laughs> but I do feel like give a person a choice. Give me a choice. But you know okay, I, mean? so I, I don't think you should go six months without disclosing that. What time frame would you give? I, don't, I feel it, like you need to be a friend, kind of like 
because honestly, it is some trans uh, people who look just like, like I know some people mm -hmm. who are born men that look just like women. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what, what I mean? What, what, what race are they? What race are they? I've seen different multiple. Different races. Yeah, different No, races. no. Like Asian, like little, little Asian both, boys. Both trans women well, hold, hold on, Randy Scott. Them little Asian boys that trans look just like women. The oh Latin God. boys that trans look just so like women. Crazy. Black dudes and white dudes look like dudes. That's not true. Not all of them. Sydney Star looks like a looks like a female. Who is Sydney Star? You know what? See, you this man has never watched this. Oops, I can't share my screen, but pull her up. Pull her up, Sydney Star. I don't know if I want to see it. Pull her up. Let me pull her up. Hold on. Don't be homophobic or nothing like that. It's That's okay. Why to D N E Y S T A R R. Sydney Star. S Y D N E Y, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ain't nothing coming up. We found Sydney Star. We found Sydney. Sydney Star. She's hey, beautiful. Oh. Yeah. She's beautiful. Y'all just. This is a transgender? Yes. Look up King Amaya. Who? <laughs> She's beautiful. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Let, let me share this screen because I don't know if I believe this one. You see King Amaya, you think that's a straight up woman, man. They're beautiful. So that's why I'm like, I think that you should be more upfront. Like, Mama Miss a Cindy fake right? relationship with, with Chingy. Wow, that's interesting. Wow, that's interesting. So wait. Oh, people, celebrities have sex with trans people all, all the, the time. time. Who are celebrities? What that mean? Oh, oh actors, oh, rappers. We, we, we ain't, we don't need oh, please that. believe it. Dude, y'all are, are delusional. Sherelle, please We, we let know what's going on. We don't want to unpack it on the show. You need to watch a movie called The Secret Society. Read that book. Okay. Is this Sydney Star? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. Who is the guy from Family Matters? Who is he dating? Oh, uh, wait a minute. Uh, <laughs> that's not true. What? He was born a man. That's not true. He What's not true? He was. That's not true. What's not true? What is it then? Darius McCrary, who is a real good friend of mine, did not mess with no transgender. How do you know? Did he mess with her? How he do you not know? Do it. How do you know? Hey, I'm, I'm going to tell you like this. Well, whoever this young lady is, now, do she have a vagina or a penis? I've he never seen that person's private parts. <laughs> that, that, was, that was a rumor. I'm, I'm telling you, he's a real good friend of mine. I talked oh, to him much I talked to Rodney. Some of our real good friends be dabbling on the other side. I'm going to just. Now, if, saying, it was reported him. now I'm by his own mouth. Him. Now, by his own mouth. Mr. C said he likes transgender by his own mouth. He said that. Who? First of Mr. all, you can't. Uh, don't do that no more. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. C, uh, the DJ from uh, New York. Mr. C is a maniac. Okay, go, go, Sherelle. Give me some more information, so, man. Okay. We so, want to. We so want to figure out like how we can be better human beings. What? We want to be better human beings. Right. And I, think, I think that's the thing like it's a thin line when it comes down to it I've dealt with plenty of black male clients who have had sex with transgenders and then they come to me Hold on, wait, first. how many is plenty because that, that could be two people mm -mm. Yeah. it's more no. than two more yeah, not more than 10 10. not more than 10 no I about think it's 10 impossible. but I think that's a lot compared to how many men are saying, no, I won't do it. I've, I've never done it. Like they're out there. And, and let me just say this. Those are those who have the audacity, the courage to be able to come out and tell their story. A lot of men and even those who I've worked with, they're shameful about it. They feel like I can't, you know, disclose this. Well, no, I don't no, want no, now let me ask you this, Sherelle. Let me ask you this. Was it a situation where they thought it was a woman and was, was tricked or they, they, they went in knowing that this guy, they they were they, they were so enamored with the beauty of this this former guy that that they they like, yo, it don't matter what you what you used to be. So they have actual websites and things of that nature, different code words that they use. I'm sure when they place um 
like they have different things when they go out like signals to let them know like this is what i'm interested you know what? in this is what I'm. let, let me at. jump in here with you because yes. i know people with fetishes that they can see other people with the same vibe yep you yep. know like like my buddy was in the prostitute <laughs> Don't be pointing right now. <laughs> I'm wrong my finger. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, that's how you broke your little little over there. Anyway, <laughs> no, but he could actually he could well he could walk in the room and be like, oh girl, the prostitute. That's a, they they could see each other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and even like my homeboy used to date white girl. He had never dated a white girl, but the minute he did. He was like, man, they everywhere. I was like, no. Yeah, you, you can point them out. Now. You can point a black yeah. or white chick to date a brother. Date a brother. You can point them out every time. That's right. Yep. You you comfortable? Then you just get married. You got you can't chime in to everything. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to help you, boy. <laughs> All right, but but so you're right, Sherelle. I believe sometimes they can they can absolutely see each other. Okay, yep. so there's these sites. Uh, there's there's guys out there that that's how they get down. Yeah, but the interesting part, one of the things that I found common with all of the guys that I've worked with is they were attracted to women. They love women, but there were insecurities within feeling like they can't get a woman. So that's when they dabbled into the wow. other side in terms of, well, let now, do they do it. they care if it's a pre-op or post-op? Do they care? It that the varied. man that he still had a penis that he had a penis. It varied by preference. It it varied by you know their beliefs and and what they felt safe with. So if they had the operation, and I'm like, even with the operation, like, are you still able to do certain things? But I was trying not to make the conversations worse, you know, by asking these pro, uh, probing right. questions. But I need you to go back and ask him. Does it matter? Person to person. I mean, if you took if you took if you took the time out to get your penis turned into a vagina, then I should I, I recognize uh, we can't handle no kids. Yeah. Yeah. So it's different stages, different stages in the relationship, different stages of surgery. Some some people, some trans transgenders, um, by going from female to male, they actually only get their breasts removed and they won't, you know, do anything with their vagina. Mm -hmm. So so he still got a period. Well, no, they take hormones to stop all that. So they get facial hair, like all of that to start producing like testosterone. Some people just get the reproductive system taken out. Wow. It's like so complex. There's it's so, so complex. different options. Like Randy, Randy, you, Randy, you like, mind sharing sharing with us like how, what, what your journey was? <laughs> <laughs> Go get your daddy a maxi pad. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all dirty, boy. Y'all dirty. <laughs> I ain't had no experience, man. I have a vagina. I gave birth. Um, but Would you consider that, Randy? You're you're straight, right? Yes. And you're single. Say you meet a transgender. What is it, male? A woman to man. Yeah, transgender male, and they used to be a woman, but now they operate as a male. Look like a man. Everything. Would you? Oh, I mean, I don't know. Like, if they if they was up straight, like, I mean, be upfront with me. I do want the choice. Yeah. I don't want to find out, you know, five months later, you know, that you're not, you know. But honestly, I, I don't know. I, I, I would have to be in that predicament because if I'm going to be, I don't know, if I'm going to date anybody that used to be a woman, like, I want her to still look like a woman. Like, I don't, I don't get into, like, the studs and this and that. That's just not my preference and i don't know it's something that really look like men but a lot of them you can still tell yeah, yeah. they but say sometimes just it's give me the choice harder it's harder to look at the dynamics of the body when they go from let me see what it says i got it in my notes when they go from female to male it's harder to tell like it's harder to look at it and right because you you got facial hair you got a lot of things but 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 how about this, Shirelli Tom? Uh, we talking trans. If you're just tuning in, my name is Roddy Perry. You're tuning in to Roddy Perry Live. It's time for the morning quickie with Sherelle E. Thomas. We're talking about the transgender world and how can we cope with with this this thing that has become now 
uh, uh, Deja Pell said something interesting to me. This all was non-issues until white men wanted to be women. To me, to my females on the panel, is this an intrusion on your womanhood? I, I, I do believe when it comes to... Um... Like now, y'all. Like I, I remember they was trying to talk about how they they weren't marketing the, like I said, maxi pads or those products to these people. When it's just like you, you don't have a period, right? So why do we need to change up every single thing? Also, I don't agree that they should do our sports. Yeah, one thousand percent. Like, like oh, I don't want to see. I'm totally sports against sports. Field. I'm huh? totally against sports. My my daughter's a track and field athlete. They got boxers. They got MMA girls. Yeah. These these they was they was. Guys, and yeah. they fucking up girls. It's yeah. not cool. Yeah, yeah. Like I don't agree with that. But other than that, I mean, I feel like people should be happy, do what's best for them, and you know, live your best happy life. Don't nobody want to live your life just stuck in a cage or trying to be somebody you're not. Yeah. Jeff Brown is joining us today. Jeff Brown, we're talking transgenders. Yeah. Um. Hey, sis. Hey, sis. Hi, what's up? <laughs> hey, hey. How upset would you be? You meet a woman, you think she's a woman, been a woman, mm -hmm. and she hasn't. Uh, well, well, uh, <laughs> I, it, I have a few foolproof methods to, to, to see to it that that doesn't happen. Okay. Uh, number one, I need fourth method grade. Method number one. Method number one, fourth grade pictures. Hmm. I need pictures of you. Smart. Before you had the time, money, or permission to cut your ding ding off. Well, hold on, Jeff Brown. Man, nowadays parents are allowing children to trans. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. But I'm 57. Yeah. So so they wasn't back when I was back back when the closest you could get would be the be being the boy that was the best at jumping rope and braiding hair. There was nobody back in the 70s cutting their babies' ding dings off. So Right there, I take care of uh, uh method number two, Jeff Brown. Method, method number, two. number two, do not date girls, date women. Ah, women got things like a pot gut. Don't nobody don't know trans trans people don't get pot guts, they don't go for that. Woman, a woman got uh, this woman clues. Uh, a woman lives her life a certain way. That trans don't. This, this is the problem. These dudes keep trying to get girls. Get a woman. Mm. Oh, it's a big difference between right. a woman and a girl. Wait, Method what's number a three. Gut? What's a pot gut? What's a you pot know what a pot gut is. The, 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 the fupa. The fupa. Okay, got The fupa, mama. It's, it. it's certain, I like the fupa. I ain't mad at Why it. Why do y'all grab that during sex? Because like, I, the, you, so maybe so you like didn't hear the funny. sentence before. I like it. <laughs> That's why. I like ass. <laughs> I like an ass on a woman. If you don't have an ass, you might as well have a penis. I like hey, hey. ass. Hey, some of these, some of these transgenders got ass, but they got some balls up underneath that motherfucker. <laughs> exactly. And you know what they look like? Girls. They don't look like. I'm talking about a woman. A woman in a uh, uh, a woman in a hurry. So you talking like about somebody, somebody like Randy? Randy, Randy, Randy got a little fupa. Look, I can look at Randy. Randy, that's a woman right there. That's a woman. Right in how she looked right there. I don't know what she's doing with that on her head. But <laughs> but that's a but that you that's a that's what I'm talking about. You want another one? That, I, like 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 give me Wednesday. Another. Like give me another. Oh, another <laughs> give us another one. <laughs> give us, yeah, give me something else. Uh uh hey, uh hey, method number three, Jeff Brown, bring us home. Method number method number three, hands and throat. Hands not, and throat. You can get your throat. Hold on, you can get your throat trimmed. Hot caught it. He said throat. <laughs> and if you're gonna really get funky with it, T-H-O-A-K. That throat. No, but you can get your throat trimmed. You can hold get on, a throat trim. Everybody, oh, everybody stop. Yeah, you can get your Adam's apple. Everybody trim. stop. What is going on? Yeah, but you can't pass all three. Okay, Lord. See, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, prime example. That's uh, right there. That's a woman in a hurry. I just dropped these damn kids off. I got to get down to Walmart. I'm stressed I got out. Shit to I'm, do. I'm stressed out. I've been got with these kids all day. Thank you. I meet her in Target. So you meet her in Target looking like right. that. Everybody That's freeze. Me. I'm Roddy Prey. You're tuning in to Roddy Prey Live. As we get to the top of the hour, oh my God, 
Trisha Webb is coming in with a plethora of sex toys. This is wow. the part I've been waiting for. This is about to be crazy. But I'm saying, Trisha, Trisha, Randy Scott says she broke her her rose 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 whatever it is. The, road, the motor went out. Oh God! How much oh, do you God. have to be using it, Jeff Brown? Yeah. Goodness gracious! You need some gas operator. Like, to the top down. Full effect. Uh oh. The morning quickie, the extended version. OMG. Thank you to uh my man Kenny Young, who was on the first half of the first half of the show. Kenny Young, a great interview, great chopping up, great chat. Thank you to Randy Cal Randy Scott for coming in. Oh, this now that's cute, Randy Scott. Thank you for coming into the show and being my co-host for the day. Thank you to Sherelle E. Thomas for always popping in on Thursday and, and having a real conversation about transgenders and and how we should approach that while that's a lot of our new norms. Shouts out to the new married man. Hollywood Hop is in the building. You might need some toys, Hop. You might need some toys. I'm just going to throw it out there. Okay? And, of course, the legendary Uncle Jeff Brown. Let's not forget my next guest. I was on social media. I saw this lady giving out tips and tricks for all you couples out there need some stuff. Valentine's Day is coming. Trisha Webb, what's up? Hey, what's going on, Ronald? <laughs> Thank you for coming on, sis. Yo, you. yo, you you was dropping so much game on your page. I'm gonna bring these fools in. You show us like yeah. you got the latest and greatest tips and tricks out there, and you got the you got the roles because Randy done broke up. I don't know what Randy doing. No, I got I got you, Randy. Because Randy done broke her roles, okay? man. I'm not, not the only person. No, you so are. we got the ones that don't. The, the the motor stays a lot longer, but we got the upgrade. So I'm upgrading my ladies to the Rose 2.0. Okay. Oh, so I tell everybody, I got all the cheat codes to pleasure. Cheat codes. Cheat codes. Yes, the all cheat right. codes. All right, because y'all know the way society is set up. We don't have time. We be so busy, and everybody is in. You know, a lot of people are in survival mode, like pushing through, especially right now. So pleasure, of course, is a now, now let me ask you this, Trisha Webb. Can you overuse these devices? Now that's what a lot of people ask, because we've been told you can desensitize your nerves, right? But here's mm -hmm. the thing, you don't get desensitized, your nerves just okay. Let's, let's talk about it, Trish. If you use your clitoris like a punching bag, eventually your punching bag get tired of getting punched. Well, that's see that's the problem. You ain't supposed to go there and punch in the punching bag unless somebody asks you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. She will just fell out of the chair. just fell out. She just fell out the chair. couldn't take it no more. But see, that's the beauty of things like the rose. It doesn't have too much power. It gives you just the right. It's like a airflow technology. So it just goes like a vacuum tornado type of air, and it just okay. sucks in okay. the orgasm oh. right up on your head. Oh, right man, right I'm having I'm having right withdrawals right, right now. Please, okay. I, I, I got to call. Everybody freeze, Trish. Hold on, Jeff Brown. What is your question? I got to throw a flag on the play. I have two PhDs. One is in pimp shit, and one is in nigga shit. <laughs> I just heard some pimp shit just now. With the air technology, that air that 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 came out of that, and then you said, "Oh no, it don't make you insensitive. You just get used to it." Yeah, that's so you, too. That's, that's the same thing. thing. No, that's not. That's like that saying I'm exactly the same to the thing. one person that I was. All right, let's not that's argue. Not Trisha, you Trisha, do okay. okay, okay, okay. Oh, you don't while I'm with the man. You don't. You don't Trisha. use it while you with the man. Yes, use it while you're with your man, use it by yourself. I tell everybody, it's like toppings to your favorite dessert. All right, you yes. like it, okay. dessert. yes, you like it. So it's, it's like sprinkles. sometimes you just want to add some toppings to it, right? 
And you can't have just a bowl full of squishy. Well, right. But hold on, Chris. Right. You got people like Randy Sky that ain't got no ice cream. They just eating toppings. <laughs> just eating sprinkles. <laughs> All day. I'm going to get mine off. I'm not about he to eat having pepper steak. She just having pepper. <laughs> but see, that's why you got the cheat codes for the men as well. So it's cheat codes, it's creams for... Okay. Mm-hmm, to make you all right, all right, give me some more toys. Give me some more. What else is out there? Yeah. <laughs> so this was the one that we was talking about that saw that everybody saw online. Okay, that, that's that's a, a penis elongator. It adds a, about an inch and a half of girth, and we know what? that's like one of the main things is the okay. girth because when the actual vaginal canal is aroused, it has more elasticity. Oh, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. They put Girl. that on them. Yeah. Slides on the shaft. So imagine this being the shaft here. So this is going to add that extra one and a half inch. This bump has a motor in it. So it's going to be vibrating on the G spot what? area. Oh, area shit. as well as making the uh. shaft vibrate inside. <laughs> so you're going to be getting all of that around the vaginal wall. So it's going to be hitting that. And it keeps your erection from going down with that other little. It All keeps your erection from going down too, right? Does that go in his butt? No, no not goes clitoris. in his butt. So Ever. this is going to be sorry. giving you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought that was a dual. I'm sorry. You thought like man. Don't, don't let them distract you. Break it down. Keep going, girl. <laughs> this gives you the clitoral stimulation at the same time. So <sighs> you know when you're going to town, everything goes past the clitoris, and our clitoral nerves are our only vaginal nerves. But penetration alone goes directly past it. And when the vaginal canal isn't fully, fully aroused, the extra nerves that are inside of the vagina are now, all, all this is clitoris, though. All this all is that is clitoral, yes. So when there's not, you know, foreplay or the stuff you do before actual penetration, it can take anywhere between 15 to 45 minutes for our vaginal area to be completely ready. Yeah. That's for any type of penetration. How do you yeah. put that put that in the microwave and get that done in 60 seconds? <laughs> so that's where you get the cheat code. <laughs> so yeah, you do want to do some stimulation you all the way. in a movie. <laughs> lubrication is key. So you want to lube up the, the shaft as well. So we got cream lubricants that allow it to just slide on without pulling and tugging the skin. This right here is going to constrict and keep the blood flow in the shaft of the penis. So your penis. You gotta ball your fist up like that. Hard. I you mean, gotta... because it's strong. Because it's strong. <laughs> so you get super rock hard, but now you're also vibrating. And then, really, this... Thomas, can we get you to try this product? Just to tell us about it. First of all, what is it made with? My my. Uh, sensitive. Cookie. It's, it's sensitive. very sensitive. The only thing that I allow in it is penis. Or my mm -hmm. head. Wow. Or like my wife. I don't do any of the extra stuff. Yeah, this, this is, is the, the, the super soft. This is the silicone. So yeah, it's still silicone based. So if you're allergic to silicone and things like that, yes. A lot of things are the he cleanliness. Off. Because the silicones, they have a lot of pores in them. So when they're not properly cleaned or just using soap and water, all of that soap leaves uh, film on your toys just like it does your shower water. So what you supposed to clean it with? Yes. They got special toy cleaners that are antimicrobial, yeah. antifungals. So you spray it down. Exactly. It for about a minute to cleanse it all. Hey, and you can stick that stick that you know the in your ass. Well. Well. You, you know, know. they're not going to clean that well. A man is not going to clean. He's going to have that shit all in the sink with the dish. He's not going <laughs> to care. <laughs> You gonna have to be in charge of cleaning Don't put that. it in the dishwasher. Yeah. Why? You why not? Have to be in charge. Why you can't not? leave him in charge of that. Why, why, why? I can't put it in the dishwasher? If I can't put it, you know why saying? I can't put it in the dishwasher? So, so see, hey, we know we know you ever had a glass of an Elvis guest you know silicone? We're not at your house. You imagine drinking some wine and be like, <laughs> is, this, is this hair? Like, why is my mouth numb? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> give, give us something else, Trisha. What is I like that one. I like that so one. So I know y'all seen. He want a vibrator for his penis. Yes. I like that. So for the fellas, I know y'all seen the viral Gawk Gawk 3000. Gawk so, Gawk! I told you. Got, got the Gawk. I saw it. So, yes. So what for all it? the ladies who, you know, it just feels like a job or you want some extra help. Okay. So I'm going to use, I'm going to use the magic thruster to help Oh, we can you. do, oh, this is, yeah. So I this is actually this is this type of show. Yeah. <laughs> So you again, lubrication is key because it really mimics a hand job and blow job. So you oh, want to lube it up boy. real good. 
You want to lube him up real good as well. Oh. Turn it on, and it's a real simple button. One push, and then you can slide it right Whoa. over. Oh, mother of God. Walk, 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 now, walk, when you do the walk. up and down motion, it creates a suction. So y'all know those real sensitive nerves right here? Yeah. It's going to hit all those nerves right yeah. there. So you can do this with your partner as well, and it takes all the, the extra hard work. <laughs> And again, you can still play around with the shaft, but this right here is going to be a good feeling for that. Right? Is, That's is this, get hold on, hold on, Trish. Ain't this, ain't, this cheating, ain't this cheating? No. The, Shut up, Rodney. Cisco. Keep going, lady. <laughs> Yo, talk to him slow. Talk to him slow. Put the Cisco CD on for Shut up. <laughs> okay. These I ain't never seen a woman lift go like that. Yeah, but this is why, because we be so busy. So a lot of people like, if they make That's anatomically like, impossible. Yeah. You imagine, you imagine. I can see y'all throwing that motor out too. You see y'all throwing that motor out. My wife's head would have, have to go up. like this. Yeah, ain't no woman's head going like that. <laughs> well, no. how, how do you? But now, now, now it does it do anything oh, else? Like, let's else say I want to make a cake. Can I <laughs> don't pay no bill? <laughs> now, see, that's the biggest argument when people say, "Okay, I'm." If these Mama Miss comes out of nowhere during this thing. Sure. They're like, I don't even want my partner to have a <laughs> Look at her saying hey with the penis. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, the toys don't replace the intimacy. So when you're with your partner, you actually establish that connection. Like this is your, that connection is there. You, you rather use these with your partner. Because again, they're to enhance it. They're to have fun. They're to make it so that you're now not. Let me ask you, Trisha. Sherelle has told us that there's an orgasm beyond the orgasm. So... So a man ejaculate, you put that motherfucking thing on him, and he can motherfucking explode. He can yeah. die. He can explode, right? He can. <laughs> this is he can die. Oh, he can die. He can die. I just need. I want. I, I just need a wet towel and a nap. That's that's yeah. how I'm. I'm good. But see, Rodney, Rodney, you talking about it can't pay bills, it can't replace nothing. Once yeah. again, there are lonely people out there, okay, that don't have nobody, and you don't want to be out here just giving it up. So these toys. Are also great for that too. Yeah. So don't yeah. don't don't judge the don't people who got to use. It. Everybody don't got somebody in the house. Everybody don't got in house pussy. Let, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Because because can Randy Scott makes a great point. Um, women tend to use toys. Men generally don't use toys. Am I right? Now it's I won't say generally don't because especially with the guys, things when they become more popular. It becomes more open. I think it's with everybody. The more comfortable you make people, then they're more open to exploring. Because, I mean, I know it's more mainstream that women do use toys more than men, but that's not the case. A lot of men have toys as well. No, a lot. I and think I have a every lot man in the world life. masturbates. He just don't need no motherfucking toy to do Thank it. You. You, got, you, you got some you lotion. Until you've tried it. Until you've tried it. Until you've been it. introduced to that type of different stimulation. Because that's what it's all about. It's different types of stimulation. So, I mean, of course, we don't know what we're missing until we experience it. And Trish, they can hit you up on, on, on the site and order this stuff. Yes. Yeah. What is right that? Now. This I'm going is the right tongue now. fun. So this is like I'm song. going right now. He has said it slow. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Everybody hush. Go ahead, Trisha. You got a tongue with that for the booty hole? What is that for? <laughs> Rodney. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's Tisha. I was Tisha. Oh, but Tisha. I, that's I, why I didn't do my. I put an R in there. That's why I didn't. <laughs> it's okay. Look, we know tongue. We tongue tied right now, too. But this one is a great uh, oh, fun we are. experience. The tongue, of course, it don't get tired. It's accessible. It has many different functions. Like, because can you slow it down? That's good. Yeah. That's good. Right. Slow down, but it's also nice and soft, so it's not hard. It's not pushing on the clitoris. I'm going to turn your damn light back on. <laughs> you done went dark. His wife came in the room. And put your other hand where we can see. What's your left hand doing, huh? We'll put your hand. Left and right. There we go. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Let's see and off. again, like, like it was said, you got a lot of single people who just want to be safe, you know, especially when it comes to that sexual exchange. If you notice, Tisha, like, when Tisha, you let me ask you this. Teacher, let me ask you this. We got mama missing here. What do you recommend she lick first? You lick first? I got a... her minute. choice. <laughs> who am I licking, Rodney? Huh? What? 
She got the tongue thing. You ain't licking nobody, woman. Oh, uh, you said okay. Go ahead. She, oh Lord, what the hell is that? This one is the one. This is the magic thruster. Yeah, that's magic because that man's having a seizure for a human. <laughs> oh no! They call that. They call that the stroke. This one yeah. is, it has a curve in it if you want it to. If not, you can take the curve out and it just goes straight up and down. But it <laughs> the Put, the curve, it Put the curve in there. Let's see what to do with the curve. Curve it. Curve it. Please. <laughs> the curve. You bend it? Oh, hell. Oh, my God. So you do it still vibrate when it curves? It goes straight to the G spot. Do it still vibrate when it curves? It does. Now it'll go, it'll go crazy. <laughs> and that's and that's why your nerves get unsafe. That's un that ain't don't it ain't a human being. You can't exactly. put an alien to get that. Hold on, Well, ain't Tidget. no woman got no circling around your penis. Yeah, I said that too. I said that too. That yeah. now, can you hurt, hurt yourself? Can we you hurt deserve. yourself with this, Tisha? Yeah, you can I'm probably gonna hurt you right there for sure, though. It's some so now some women. It just depends on what we get used to. Like yeah, I said, that's a big old we're, thing. Able, we're able to push out the baby. So it's all our vaginas are so elasticized. Now, granted, this is not normal. This ain't a normal like position. This is if you can just bend it to where you want it to go. Right. What's more comfortable for you? Because you can straighten yeah. it right back up. New but Year's, you get a promotion. Women, there are spots yeah. all along <laughs> the inside of the vaginal canal. So we have, you know, the cervix is where it all caps out down there, right? Mm -hmm. But you have an A spot, a P spot, an O spot. So there are places all around the vaginal canal that we don't even get exposed to. We don't even know that all this is happening until you get put in these contortionist positions. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's why- now, Do that so thing stick to a wall? Do that yeah, stick to a wall? wall? It does. It'll stick to the wall. See? But see, that's why you need a certain you need glory hold me, baby. Glory <laughs> That's why big dick dudes be riding around in your car eating your baby's lunchables right there. Oh, they didn't hit the ABQ spot. They didn't hit they all about to be spots. flipping taxes yeah. all night, bro. Yeah, yep. the big dick like dudes lunches. is flipping taxes. What you say, right. what you say, uh, Hollywood? I don't like lunchables. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's because you're responsible. That's because you're responsible. You don't play PlayStation all day. All right, what else you got, Tisha? <laughs> They're all kind I of like the way it tickles you when I ask you. Look at the penis <laughs> pillow in the back. Oh, oh, the pillow? Oh, God. She got well, yeah, my fun. My fun. <laughs> They're on the website, too. <laughs> but there are cheat codes for to coat your gag reflex. You don't want to numb it because you still want to know what's going on. So it just gives you a flavorful coating uh, to help relax the gag reflex. What, what flavor is it? Okay. Uh, they come in different flavors. Cotton candy, watermelon. Watermelon? That's yeah. for the black girl. Black That's <laughs> racist. I know, that's terrible. <laughs> then we got other we want to eat no it too, you know, Black girls don't like to You know, we had to yeah. do something. No. Tisa, <laughs> no. Tisa, I got a question. Uh -huh. Now, the uh, extender thing you showed, that seemed like it was just for, for the girth. You know, everybody ain't wide. You know, do you have something for length? Because I mean, that's the that's the real trouble spot. We can get the length. You just you, know? you missed that. We have we have go good. back to the black it thing. Wide. It was making it wider. Show her the black L. Show her the black L. For the girl. So she's talking about making things longer. Yeah. So there now are, you talking about yeah. medical stuff. No. Yeah. <laughs> you just gotta meet that dude. <laughs> Extra length. There's a lot of claims about uh, oils and stuff like that that make it bigger, but I haven't heard any clients like specifically that have used it that said it actually made a difference in their length. So lengthwise, that's why there's different positions. So if, it, if length is the thing and you want them to hit those deeper spots, using things like wedge pillows and adding pillows to the mix Pillow. are ways that you can try with different positions to be able to hit those spots. So, so like also, 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 if you have that problem, you can always cheat. Find you something. <laughs> 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 you Three and a half is gonna be three. We, and a half. We, we don't gotta be right here settling for the newborn size. We don't. I'm a, I'm gonna stick to the cheat code. <laughs> we bigger <laughs> girls. We can't be out here with that with that right there. Not no. Mama Miss, Mama Miss, I'm gonna put you back in the hood. 
Because your, your microphone sound horrible. Okay, okay. Let, me, let me share something with Mama Miss Well, while she's gone. She can she hear you. Still. But um, I do have a, a digital course for men, which is Stop rubbing your neck matter, like that. that teaches them how to naturally enhance the length and the girth of their penis. Now, now, uh, what they got to do, hit it with a hammer? No, it's not hitting no. it with a hammer. Holy shit, Rodney. But I teach I'm them just saying you want to pull up. Sick, man. Sick, man. To naturally I'm in pain. enhance their size. Nice. Okay. I'm going to yeah. look into yeah. Well, right. I, like to, I like to say, I, you know, I don't, I, I actually do a bit about it on stage. I don't have a huge penis, but it evens itself out because I've only dated nice girls. Huh? <laughs> I'm just here so I won't get fined. Okay. <laughs> you freshly married, Hop. You on thin ice here. Hey, yo. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, it's the morning quickie uh, with Miss Sherelle. Thomas Sherelle, thank you yes. for always giving us great information. We talked about trans today. Uh, thank you for popping on today. And uh, man, love, man, respect. Thank you, Sherelle Thomas. Thank you. See you guys. Bye, uh, Sherelle. Bye, Sherelle. Um, all right, hold on. Now, Tisha, you showed us a plethora. You got a mall of dicks and pussies over there. A mall? <laughs> a mall, right? The dick mall. <laughs> I do. It's so many. It's also versatile. So. Oh, my what about, God. We've seen all these dicks. What about the vaginas? Like, do you have any vaginas you can show us? <laughs> I yeah. do. I actually do have masturbators. So on my website, there are actual bodies. So like torso. A full body? There's a, a torso. full body. On my, on my website, there's a full body, like breast, torso, the whole torso, vagina. Also have... Um, but who going to clean that out? Ain't no dude going to clean it out. Now, see, that's the thing. You want to clean it out. <laughs> How about this? You got the you number to this model in the purple? You got to take care of it because you want it to last long. These are your investments. You on the website, Jeff? I Big creepy ass. guy. Look at his face. Them with Trisha, brother. You should see this model she got on the front. Bro, let me let me look at this <laughs> site. You about to go get her? Uh, I'm going at, no, I'm good. I'm good. If anybody sees you know, her, I just didn't know she had the models in oh, the back. Oh, she's going to go get like, the models. just pulling them out. <laughs> look at that penis back there. <laughs> I like that infinity picture she got on the wall. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My um. I dig it. I dig it. Thank you. Can you see the torso? We're about to see this torso. Yeah. Well, Rodney can't wait. Look. Well, I don't have the torso out with. The got? torso is a different thing. But uh, no, there are, there's a vaginal one. I thought I had it, but it's not. But it's a vaginal one that I normally take to my shows and things like that to help demonstrate and show all the different vaginal parts, the openings, how to reach it, how to get into well, it. Where is she? And you expand it. Well, you got all type. You got bondage. Four play, yeah. Womanizer, the OG, the OG look like he turned. Now they are great. The OG you got fair prices now. Now what's this thing with all these bumps on anal, gasm? I don't want to be yeah. a part of that. So this is the OG. So it has that same like rose body slam. The G spot. I'm gonna get this what body is that? Slam. This is the womanizer OG. So it has that same air tunnel technology. But for the G spot area, so that's why it's nice and full. Okay, all right, that's too much. I like that body <laughs> sling. You see that? That is fun. <laughs> you get in so many different position <laughs> position piles and things like that. So yeah. Now, do you now? Are are you married? Not now, not now. I used to be, but not now. Now, was you into this when you was married, or like was this? I, I was with a company back when I was married. So, yeah, I did a lot. Of, I had a lot of learning and things like that. But now I've, the, I've gotten able to get more and better um, toys. and what's the, what's the bang rechargeable? Oh, it's a little mini um, bullet. So it's a bullet. But it looks like a little microphone. <laughs> but I love a powerful. bullet. I love a good bullet, man. You can put it on. You can Ain't pack nothing it like a good purse. bullet. You can pack it right in your purse in your bag, and and it's like this. I mean, it, uh, yeah, a bullet get the job done in like one two minutes, it man. Get so up out of there. Get up out of there. What's the yeah, candles? What's out out your there. candles, Tisha? The candles are good for massage, so they're actually lickable. So you can do like a nice lickable massage with those. 
I like that. They're soy. Like that. Do you, you like it? Do you like it, Rocky? I do. <laughs> <laughs> right up my alley, Rocky. Right, 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 right up your dark alley. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on, guys. Come on Kiki <laughs> guy, come on, man. Hop, that hop, guy's wow, crazy, bro. bro. Come on, guys. I usually be lockstep with hot, but if I get just you, then the dark oh, alley. Uh, six piece inflatable sex sofa. What's that? Yes, so y'all know. So you've seen like the chaise lounge or what they call the yoga chairs. It's just the way it's positioned and the shape of it. Where is you that? can use that type of furniture to get into so many different easy positions. I don't see it. Uh, black people too big for this, like you know, mama men's <laughs> and you know, we we be them bust the thing open. I'm a That's damn touch. Yeah, 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 we've been trained not to sit on plastic. Real pieces. <laughs> What's the weight limit? What's the weight limit on, hey, look, look. on that? Hop, Hop and his, his wife, they both big people. <laughs> my wife ain't, but I'm bigger than my wife. You bigger than your wife, but together y'all motherfucking 500 pounds. Oh, yeah, no doubt. Hop, like, you ain't about to call my wife big. I'm about to call my wife big. Talk about my lady. <laughs> okay, I'm looking for furniture. Nothing says furniture. Uncle Jeff, I, you like Fupa Woman. Ain't nobody about to fit on none of that for you. I don't really? see. I, well, well, let me be the judge of that, young lady. I just don't know. <laughs> I don't. I, I'm, I'm looking at adult toys. Lubricants. Hold on. What's the, what's the bullseye? You double, said that with a little double double loose loose cock ring. That, so the cock rings, they fit. They come down just like pretty much just like this one, except without yeah. all the extras. I didn't so, have sex with a dude with a cock ring on. Yeah, How was it? Rings, it was, they they was there right. to you constriction on the shaft. Wow. Uh -huh. It'll keep him hard, but like well, being that, it's not a constant thing on your clitoris. I like a lot of tutorial stimulation, so I needed to just sit there. Mm -hmm. but, you That's because you fucking damage you, your clitoris. What right. the fuck you wrong? That's fine. That's you know what? Thing. That's what some women like consistent. Pleasure. Yeah, now you need something that's gas operated with a pull <laughs> with a pull start. <laughs> 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 Look, if you go under the machine, where's the kerosene? Something close to that <laughs> go under machines. There's one close. It's similar. It's a machine. Did he say go under machines? The There's a category yeah. called machines. There are machines. Hold on. Hold on. There for, are, hold there on. for thirty nine dollars, you can get the Colts. <laughs> Ain't no douche. Yes. I'm talking about that. Yeah. So now I got one of my buddies. He's a porn star. Mm -hmm. He said he's Whew. supposed to have an anal scene with a girl. And they not supposed to eat the night before, and she did. And he had oh, a little boy. dookie everywhere. Oh, yeah. She painted the canvas. That's she why, did. You know, she painted the canvas. Yeah. That's why you you, you got to watch what you eat before you do that. Because you yep. don't want to paint the canvas. No. Yep. And you're supposed to do an enema. Like, I don't uh, like that Randy the, knows about it. I ain't no do shit. It's the clean out. Yeah, I'm very aware y'all, y'all, Y'all too versed in this shit for me. I'm, I'm over here like. I got gay homeboys. My best friend every day. Like, like they be telling me about about that. Like, watch what you eat before yeah. we about to go out because you're not about to pay me. Now, like, now, I, now, I, now, you got Dick Dick Rambo. Now, how did they get a, a image of my penis? Is a better question. Who you should sue, Rodney? I'm so tired <laughs> of that shit. Thirteen inches black. <laughs> I'm suing Rodney. They keep doing this to me, they and keep it's wrong. Doing this. I don't know, but it's I do want I do want this edible massage oil. Okay, yes, it is. It's so nice it, it, because it doesn't get any hotter than body temperature. So you actually light it just like a regular candle, and then it'll liquefy. So you can actually blow it out and then pour it directly into your hand or directly onto the body. Rodney just gonna be eating that shit. Watch. <laughs> wow, really? I put it on my ice cream. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like. I'll be right back, y'all. I love you, but I can't let my beans stick. <laughs> Don't let the beans stick. Not doing this anymore. What? <laughs> right. Is it cooking? All right, guys. It's uh, I'm oh, jumping man. around. Hurry back. Uh, <laughs> Tisha Webb, thank you so much, girl. You are I uh, absolute. I, I'm absolute glad. Gym. I'm really grateful to be on here. <laughs> thank this you for sharing. I hope I hope these guys Valentine's Day is approaching. Take some time, spend with your, spe your special person, and get a toy, man. Try something new. Yeah, mm -hmm. try. And that's what I want to do. Just make it a comfortable, even playing field for people to open up or just have somebody where they can come ask questions, you know, and not feel ashamed or not feel bad, but actually get some the education behind it. So I love that. How do, we, how, do we, how, do we, how do we stay in touch, Tisha? Yep. Uh-huh. Oh, she has a question. I got a question for you because Valentine's Day is coming up. 
do I have enough time to get my order in and still get my stuff by Valentine's Day? Because I'm single. So I just want to say yeah. something real nice for myself. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I have a lot of things in stock and every well, everything is going really fast. Valentine's Day is picking up. Okay. But I will have it. I have a great turnaround rate and everything comes with the tracking so you'll know exactly when it's coming. Word. Y'all heard it. So, so you can get the wire right, right, get the music. <laughs> you can get Mr. Everything Roosevelt. Got get it going, have the whole atmosphere set up. Lou Rawls <laughs> playing in the background. <laughs> so yeah, they can always reach me right on my website, vibingwithtisha.com. Uh, everything comes to me personally. So even if you email me through that site, you're still talking directly to me. Love that, Miss Tisha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Hop good, man. How, how's the married life, bro? Man, everything is, is everything is copacetic. You know what I mean? We just, like I said, I've been knowing my wife for 31 years, but we, you know we only been dating for like three months, Rodney, four months. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, kid, 31 plus three is 40, 43. But I, 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 like I said, I knew her, but it, it was it was right for me, and I didn't waste no time. That's what's not mad at that. Jeff Brown, he is, uh, his his podcast, uh, uh, Draft Balls, is up on Wednesdays. I think that's today. And uh, Sundays, he has the Church of Jeff Brown, where he puts, he, he, he worships his something. And... <laughs> Finally, <laughs> we're gonna talk about this at the church, Jeff. <laughs> Finally, um, my co-host for the day, a joy to be around. She changed wigs a thousand times a day. <laughs> and um, I think we got a new a new a new toy. And um, um good for you, Randy Sky. Your knowledge is impeccable. Um, <laughs> way more than I want to know about. Um my name Don't is Rodney Perry. Oh God. My name is Rodney Perry. Jeff Brown, how do we stand there? <laughs> oh, uh Sunday, this Sunday coming, the first church of holy shit. Every Sunday, noon LA time. Somebody fucked up and told me God was everywhere. So I pray from here, save me 10%. Never miss a game. Um uh, Wednesdays, giraffe balls. It's where I get high as giraffe balls and I talk to young bucks about whatever they want to talk about. Uh, I invite all of y'all pretty pleased with sugar on top. At some point, my friend Rodney Perry is going to be one of my guests. And I'd love to have Mr. Hobgood because he got a dope ass story. Yeah. Uh, as So I need to get in touch with both of y'all. But And at GB Funny Style on Instagram and Twitter. Love that. And Dramata says... My friend wants to order the curved one. Her. What's the name again? A friend, a friend got the it. same name she got. Right. Yeah. We all grown <laughs> Andromeda. Vibin, V-I-B-N, vibin with Tisha.com, Miss Andromeda. I'm sure you'll be able to find her. Yeah. That is our show for the day. Wow, what a Thursday. Kenny Young, <laughs> Randy Scott, Tisha, Shirelli Thomas, Jeff Brown, Hollywood Hop. What's wrong with you? What is wrong with you? <laughs> it's a, all right, uh, that's our show. Let's get it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. <laughs> Number one funny man. Funny man. Funny man.